If you are running ads inside of Google and don't have a strategy in place to prevent click fraud from bots or competitors or other things going through and clicking your ads, chances are you could be leaving a lot of money on the table. Every year, click fraud costs advertisers billions of dollars. And unfortunately, a lot of people are spending money that is going towards click fraud and they don't even know it. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over a few different ways that you can identify if click fraud is a problem inside of your account. From there, we'll go over some of the ways that you can help combat this click fraud through manual processes that you can quickly go through that are free. And then after that, we'll go through automated processes that you can go through so that you don't have to worry about click fraud at all. And at the end, I'll even be talking about a form that is kind of hidden that Google has that you can go through to request a refund if click fraud is a problem for your account. So be sure to stick around for that. Let's jump right in on how to identify if click fraud is a problem for your account. So the first thing that I want you to do is come in here to your Google ads account. We are in the campaign view and the Google's changing their UI pretty often. So this may look slightly different to you, but what you want to do is come over here to these columns and you want to go to modify columns and you want to search for invalid just search for invalid and it's going to come up with a couple of different things. You want to go through and hit invalid interactions, invalid clicks, invalid interaction rate and invalid click through rate. So you can go through and add all these. So make sure all of those are checked. They're going to add them into this column over here and we want to hit apply from there. What you're going to see is it's going to give you a list of the current invalid interactions inside of your account. So you can see right now I've had 2,200 clicks inside of here. And then on top of that, I've had 309 invalid interactions or 309 invalid clicks, which means 12% of this campaign, 12% of the interactions or the clicks from this campaign have been invalid, which this is how Google defines this. What they are invalid interactions are interactions Google consider illegitimate and does not charge you for. So this is good news, right? This means that these 12% of clicks that Google has identified as in invalid, they did not go through and charge me for. But this does show you that there is a problem inside of this account. This is the first hint. If this is a very high rate, chances are there's still a bigger problem. Now, keep in mind, Google does have a team to go through and help out to prevent click fraud from happening. But at the end of the day, Google is a business and their business incentives don't really align with preventing click fraud that much. And so as a result, I found that there are a lot of things that slip through the cracks. Of course, Google will never come out and say that they that things slip through the cracks, but it's almost they are not incentivized to go through and do that because obviously the more click fraud is, they still get paid no matter what, whether it's good for the advertiser or not. Basically, 10% of the clicks have been invalid, invalid clicks. This is the total rate here. Now, if you notice, you can see this campaign right here, it has a 12% invalid click through rate. If you see something like that, chances are you may want to dive into this campaign a little bit more. And what you're gonna start looking for is things like anomalies in the data. You're gonna wanna go through and look at the click through rate and see if there are random spikes on a specific day that kind of indicates that there was a bot attack or something, or maybe a competitor going through and clicking your ads multiple times. You wanna go through and look for spikes in conversion rates. Th these spikes don't necessarily mean 100% that it is click fraud going on, but this is a good way to go through and identify if there maybe is a problem. If you are running display campaigns, display campaigns are notorious for click fraud. So I want to show you quickly how to identify if you're running a display campaign, if click fraud may be a problem for you. So if we come over here to this account that is running a, a display campaign, what you want to do is click into the display campaign and then underneath these, this content right here, we're going to come over to placements. And then inside of placements, it's kind of hidden. You can see you don't have any placements. You can go through and see where your ads appear. And if we click inside of this account, you can see this will start showing you a list of all of the websites that your ads are currently showing on. And what you want to do is go through and actually go to some of these sites to see what they look like. So let's take this first one, for instance, our one that's getting the most clicks right now, almost the most inside of here, and just go and look at this website. And what you're looking for is the quality of this website. So keep in mind, this is a campaign that is targeting the United States and English speakers only. And you can see here, this is just in Chinese and it doesn't really look like a super high quality site. So chances are, I don't want to be showing up for something like this. This is another sign that you probably have some click fraud going on inside of here. And then if we come back over here, we look at this next site, you can see that this, if we click inside of here, is also just like some sort of gaming website where my ads are showing on. And chances are that's not something that I wanna show up for. Now, the good news is with something like this, what you can do is you can go through and click on here and then edit and then exclude this from your campaign. So we can go through and exclude these placements inside of here. And then now our ads will stop showing on that website. So that's one way to prevent these from showing up for display campaigns specifically. Now, the problem with this, as you go through and exclude one website, it seems like four more pop up. And so you'll want to keep a close eye on this. But if you wanted to get ahead of this curve a little bit, I actually have this full list right here. You can check the link down below and get this full list. It has like over 10,000 negative placements because I've been doing this for a long time that I go through and exclude actually 30,000 different placements inside of here. So you can go through and you can basically grab this list right here, come back over to your account 
And then from here, you can come over to content. And then if you come to exclusions, they kind of hide this. They make it hard to find. You can see there's topic exclusions, but you can come over here to placement exclusions. And then from here, you can, you can see the two that I went through and added already. But then we can go through and edit or exclude placements. And we want to come over to this enter place. And then this is where you can go through and enter multiple. Now they won't let you enter all of these at the same time, but you can do, I think up to a thousand and then just go through and add placements inside of there. This will help prevent the click fraud and from showing up on a lot of the crappy websites, but more and more being built every day. So this list isn't a catch all. You want to make sure you're coming in here often and checking this as well. So that is how one of the ways that you can go through and help prevent click fraud for your display campaigns. But what about for your search campaigns? What, how can you prevent competitors or bots going through and clicking your search campaigns? Well, there's a couple different manual ways that you can go through and do that, that are kind of hacky, that kind of work, that are a free solution. And then I'll be talking about an automated paid solution that you can use after this as well as to give you both of those options. Some of the things that you can do to prevent bot, uh, competitors and bots from clicking on those is if you come into your campaign settings, and then you come over to the locations and we're looking for locations here. You can go through and exclude locations. And what we're doing here is we can go through and find, if you can find the zip code of where your competitor's office is located, you can go through and exclude that zip code. So let's go over here. Let's pretend that we wanted to exclude this zip code right here. Let's say we know our competitor lives in this area uh, in the United States. We can go through and exclude that. Now, of course, the benefits of this is that now you are excluding that competitor, so they're not going to see your ad, so they can't go through and click that. Obviously, the cons of this is if you're adding a zip code, there could be potential customers in that area that could also be getting excluded, which could be a problem, of course. But this is one of the ways that you can prevent those competitors from clicking on those ads. Now, another thing that you can do and you go through and save that. Another thing that you can do is you can come over to your settings inside of your campaign. And inside of the settings, there actually is an option underneath this additional settings where you can go through and exclude IP addresses. Now, one of the hard things about this setting is getting the actual IP address. It can be a little bit difficult, sometimes technical to go through and rip those IP addresses. But if you can go through and find them, you can go through and manually add them into your campaigns. You can even add IP ranges inside of here, whether it's bots or competitors going through and constantly clicking your ads. That's another solution, a free solution that you can go through to prevent click fraud. Now, if you wanted to go through and try those things that we just talked about and manually add those and you have the time to go and check on those things inside of the account, then you can continue to do that to help prevent click fraud. But if you're looking for more of an automated solution and you are okay paying for a tool, then the tool that I would recommend is something called Clicksees. It's something that I personally use. It's something that I use on basically every account that I run uh, because I find it works so well. And basically what Clicksees does is super easy to install. I'll, I'll walk through how to install it. But basically it will go through, once you get it installed, it gives you a dashboard that looks something like this. It will tell you the percent of cleaner traffic that you're getting based on Clicksees, how much you've saved during that time and how many clicks it's gone through and saved you. And this is just for Google ads and the total savings is based on the average CPC. So you can go through and adjust this if you'd like. It'll also go through and give you a report analytics such as the visitors, the IP uh, addresses blocked, unique visitors, the threat level, you can see high, low um, or critical. And you can see it's pretty low now because I've had it on this account for quite a bit of time. So it's gotten really clean traffic. If you scroll down, it will also tell you the fraudulent campaigns, like where they're coming from, what the, what the error is like over threshold fraudulent devices, the fraud type coming through here, the places where, and countries where the fraud is happening. On top of that, if you come to the fraud analytics, I think this is really helpful. It will show you the list of the blocked IP addresses, the countries, the keywords, the campaigns, the IP addresses, and the devices and placements on where those are all happening. So it gives you a ton of different data and this all happens automatically as soon as you connect it to your Google ads account or Facebook ads account. This works for all, not only for Google ads, but you can also get this for Microsoft ads or Facebook ads. And like I said, this is definitely the thing that I personally use. I wouldn't be talking about it if it wasn't something that I actually used. And you can see just inside this account, it saved them $200 just in the past week. If we come back here to the actual home dashboard, you can see this month it has saved them, uh, almost, let's see, almost just for October. The total savings here has been almost $600 in click fraud. And if you click the link down below, you can actually get started with a free trial. So you can go through and see how well this protects your account and how much it will actually save you before you actually go through and commit to purchasing. So be sure to check out that link down below. It is a affiliate link, but it does help support the channel. And like I said, this is something that I actually do use a lot and do believe. Once you've gone through and signed up for your free trial, you can go through and add your domain. It's going to go through and ask you to either connect with Google and link in and sign in or link manually. In order to link manually, all you need to do is come over to your Google ads account, click on this right here, grab this UID in the top right hand corner. And then we're going to come back over to Clicksees and just copy that ID in there and then just copy that ID in there and then connect to Google ads. 
From there, what this is gonna do is it's going to send a request to your Google Ads account to ask to link to it. So just go through and follow these instructions right here. So we're gonna come back over here to the Google Ads account. We're gonna to come to tools and settings, and then we are gonna come over to access and security. From there, you wanna go over here to the managers tab, and then you'll see this little click cease client center. If you don't see this, refresh the page, give it a second. It should come up through pretty quickly. And then you wanna go through and accept that, and then grant access then confirm. Right, now that is all set up. So we can come back over here to click these and then we're going to hit continue. And then from here, it's going to give you a view that looks something like this. And congratulations, your account is now being protected from click fraud. If you wanted to go through and change some of the settings, some of the things that I find helpful is you can go through and manage the detection rules inside of here. So you can say a click fraud threshold, allow up to three ad clicks within seven days or allow up to two ad clicks within 10 minutes. So you can go through and change the settings here if you wanted to. Generally, I keep most of these on the default where they're at, but you can go through and as you can see, change a lot of different things. So if you wanted VPNs to show up to your ads, you can go through and enable that or unenable that. Um, you can also go through and manage the auto IP blocking inside of here. But like I said, most of the time, I just keep these as they are. Now, the last thing that I did want to go through and talk about is how to request a refund on ad credits if you did want to go through and do that. Now, inside of ClickSees, they, they do actually have this tool for apply for Google refund. They'll go through and you can download the full list click report and then go to and submit the report here. But if you don't want to use ClickSees, you can still get access to this report. They have a nice little link to it right here, but I'll link to this down below as well. But this is the form that you can go through and fill out if you've identified that you have click fraud inside of your account and go through and submit this to Google to request a refund. Now I will be transparent with you. Google is a very big stickler on the approval rate on this. It is very hard to get an credit back from them a lot of times in this situation, but I still did want you to be aware of this as something that you can use in case you are experiencing a lot of click fraud inside of your account. So hopefully you found that helpful. Be sure to click the link down below to get a free trial of ClickSees just to try it out. And if you don't like it, you can go through and cancel. It is an affiliate link, but I do appreciate the support and we'll see you in the next video.